G'day guys, Neil here. Welcome back to Challenger 4 Wheel Drive and this is part four of our South Australian adventure. Part 4 finds us on the Coffin Bay Peninsula in the Coffin Bay National Park. We've driven 43 k's from our base in Port Lincoln and we hope to drive the entire length of the Coffin Four Wheel Drive track all the way to Point Sir Isaac which is on the tip of the peninsula. These information boards give you some useful tips about the local terrain which is soft sandy beaches dunes and limestone sections that don't recommend towing a trailer, mobile reception is limited so monitor UHF channel 18 and you're on your own in terms of recovery so be prepared and know the state of the tides. Quite often you won't see anybody on these beaches so you have to be prepared to recover yourself and there are also free Avenza maps available which is handy. We've met up with a family of emus these are the second largest bird after the ostrich and only found in Australia. And surprisingly, it's mostly the male who brings up the chicks. And there's thought to be about 700,000 here in Australia. Lake Jesse, uh, according to the map, but it's uh, completely dry. I don't know if it ever fills up. I suppose it would do if it gets some rain, significant rain. Yeah, so we're going the Jesse track there, but we're going to rejoin the coffin track. We're going to drive this beach at Lake Jesse on our way back down the peninsula. Yeah, the tracks are really narrow, so you have to find a place to pass cars. They've got little cutouts, but uh, sometimes if you're far between. Limestone outcrops can be sharp, so watch your tyres. The coffin track's pretty good value. A few sandy sections, a few rocky sections, and opportunities to go on the beach if you want to. This is a very scenic park. The views are really world class. I said it would be nice to camp here. Is that the four man tent in the back? <laughs> We quickly check out the Black Springs campground. It's set in Mali Eucalypt woodland and has great views. Now we're back on the track.
these guys have been up to the top of the peninsula and they're heading back to Coffin Bay. Well, we've reached Seven Mile Beach. You can't turn right, it's an exclusion zone. So you've got to turn left towards Point Sir Isaac. We're actually going to stop here. In summer, there's plenty of beach between the low and high tide marks, but this time of year can be a bit tricky. And the sand is very soft, and the 18 PSI may still be a bit high for these beaches. We're going to drive back down the track and drive onto the beach at Lake Jesse. Got some traction assistance here on this hill, which is a bit steep. This is the beach near Lake Jesse and we're having a look before driving out of the park. The peaks you often see in the distance when you're in the park are Mount Dutton and Mount Greenlee.
be oh, fine. Oh shit! I think there was water. Oh look. Oh, we're on a mission fine. They're in the bush. They're so they're such good camouflage. Well, we're back where we started to air up. I was the D Max. Gulf to Wallaroo I think it is so it's Lucky Bay to Wallaroo and here we are on the Air Peninsula ferry we're taking is the Aurora 5 and it crosses the Spencer Gulf from Lucky Bay to Wallaroo. Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad there's no control in me my thoughts get so bad I'm like I might grab a bat I don't know my wrath my blood boils over like Oh God, here goes. So we made it to Wallaroo, and then we're just about to get off this ferry. It was a nice ride too, nice and uh, smooth, relaxing actually. They got like a little kiosk on board with coffee, etc. Muffins and things like that, snacks, it was nice. When you drive off, you're within range of Adelaide, and we're going to drive through Adelaide and onto Glenelg. Well, we're on the Copper Coast Highway, heading towards Glenelg. We're going to be a bit late because we didn't factor in uh, daylight saving, which, which uh, ended last night. So we're going to be setting up in the dark, but that's not too bad. Uh, should be okay anyway. So we're hammering along the Copper Coast Highway trying to get there before it's too dark. See how we go.
Well, we did make it, even though it was a late arrival. That's okay. It was from our base here at Glenelg that we drove Adelaide Silver Sands and Aldinga Beaches, and that video is worth a look. We also visited Harndorf, so there may be some short videos still to come from South Australia. But the main series of four is complete with part four. I hope you've enjoyed them. Please subscribe and I might see you out on the tracks. Thanks guys.